Hello everyone and welcome to the beginning of Fallout 4 and the Fallout 4 series. Now I'm just going to press new game and get right into it and then talk over the intro, right? Because who cares about the intro a ton? I would feel wrong to skip it completely, but it's here. Now, Fallout 4, let's get into this. Now if you don't know me, if you're watching this as a first video of mine for some reason, I am Kazunoa. I love the Fallout series. I also love most Bethesda games. Um, hopefully the audio balance is fine. We'll, we'll get into that later. We'll adjust it as needed. But the point is, I've been playing uh, Skyrim for a while, for the War. last month or two. Oh my god, the classic line, War Never Changes. Crazy. War never changes. Um, I've been playing Skyrim for the last quite a bit, and I decided I wanted to switch it up. Now, for any of you that are returning, and you're year questioning, Noah, why are you doing this? I thought right, that you were playing Skyrim. It's because Serving in the army. Um, I don't want it to get stale, right? I've recorded Skyrim for the last, like, 40 days, and I've decided that if I keep going, I'm probably going to get burnt out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both at the same time. I'm going to do probably Fallout, like, three. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do, like, Fallout, like, three of the days, Skyrim, another three, and then I'll probably take a day off once a week, depending on what I feel like. We'll see. Instead, Let me take a sip of my drink. Something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon. Atomic energy. A limitless source of power. I'm sure that this couldn't go wrong People at all. Luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Oh my God! Domestic it's robots, a robot. Fusion-powered cars. Portable computers. Pip Boy 1.0. In the 21st century. People awoke from the American dream. Uh oh. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major no. resource. Not shortages of resources. The entire world unraveled. Nah, no way. That doesn't Peace sound right. Became a distant memory. It is mm. now the year 2077. Damn, that's a long we stand a while. Of total war. I hope nothing bad happens. Myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Nah, I'm sure nothing will happen. My time in the army taught me one thing. Is it that war never changes? It's that war. War never changes. Oh my God. Okay, so that's enough of the intro. Now let's talk a little bit more about this. I love Fallout 4. I love the Fallout series as a whole. I spent a, like, about two-month period gaining every achievement in Fallout New Vegas. And then I, the uh, night, huh? then I came to Fallout 4 and got mostly every Absolutely. achievement. I'm still missing most of the DLC stuff, here. but... Right. All right, so here we are. We're finally in the character crate. Now let's talk about a few things while I just make up a regular face here. Now, uh... I don't have many mods installed, and by many, I mean I have about 10. They're core mods that I think are super, like, they're very gameplay related. You're not going to find any, like, particular crazy things here that you would normally not see in a Let's Play kind of thing. As you can see, I have Look Menu installed, which is a very simple mod that just not kind bad. of enhances no. the gameplay of, or not enhances the gameplay, enhances the character creation thing, which is, you know, not a very... Such a cute nose. It's not a super, like, important mod that you're going to see throughout the whole Let's Play, because it's only going to be here in the beginning. Yeah, let's go for that. Why not? Hello, handsome. Um... This is just that. I have a mod that allows me to get the base or the hairs that are in the base game that aren't unlocked yet in the beginning, specifically because I like this hairstyle and uh, it is not unlocked until you go into the wasteland. Uh, I have the mod that you can use. Uh, so you can use armor on any single set of clothing, which is, you know, nice and fun. I like that one. 
but otherwise, I think that's really it. There's one for the UI. I think that's all I need to cover, realistically, because I don't think there's anything particularly beyond so that. Now, I don't know how many of you have seen my face. I used to put it in all of my old videos, but I am... I don't really find a need to think, put it in my new videos, but that's close roguishly. enough. It's it's not really that good. The only difference, and most of you probably haven't seen me with facial hair, probably because I wasn't growing it as actively back in the day, but it's good enough. Longer hair, brown, green eyes, good enough. All right, let's uh, go to extras, remove all. That looks a little bit too bland for me. Let's uh, Let's go into... Let's go to blemishes and see about adding maybe like the eyes gaunt one is a little bit aggressively gaunt for me. I think I can turn it down though, right? Yeah, make it so you're just tired. There we go. Oh, did I not accept it? Bruh. I've always hated uh, this system specifically. How you need to do it is you need to press space to apply and then press E to accept. Strong chin. There you go. That's all I want. I'm not editing my wife because I'll be completely honest. I don't care about her all of that, all that much. Boom. We're in the world. Now. Uh, yeah. Here we are. In the Fallout world. Look, I have a son. I've suddenly birthed a son. Well, I haven't birthed a son. My wife birthed a son. I was just there for it. Ah, good morning, sir. Good morning, Godsworth. 173.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, it's pretty hot. I would not be able to drink that in real life, but, uh, apparently my character is just a Chad. Hmm. More of the same. Hmm. More of the same. I see. I see. Now, I love the intro to Fallout 4. Okay, I was going to say this earlier, but I completely forgot because I was busy uh, creating my character. I was debating whether to play New Vegas or Fallout 4. Obviously, I'm going to play it at some point anyway. I'm, I plan on playing uh, Oblivion and New Vegas as well as Skyrim and Fallout 4. I just kind of had to pick something to do first. Oh, you like Screaming child, crying child, let's run away. I hate children. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Eh, he's alright. He's a robot. I don't really like children anyway, so who cares? Man, <laughs> this was probably a sudden tone shift in my character. I went from, like, probably being a happy father to hating children. But it's okay. I, I don't care. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Okay, and then, uh, so I'll probably play Fallout New Vegas after this. I, I'm planning on, in Fallout New Vegas, I'm probably going to do something uh, not different, but New Vegas is much different than Fallout 4 in so many ways. I'm very excited for it. Hello, I see you out there. Hey, guys, you want to know something that bothers me, and this will now bother you? Look at this. This side of the door in Fallout 4 is wider than this side of the door in Fallout 4. It's asymmetrical. Good morning. vault -Tec calling. Hey, vault -Tec. What's up? Go on. Nice to find you, sir. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Is it now? What's so important? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm I afraid. am inevitable. Coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Your now, meaning? I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. I do like how this guy... Being a, uh, like, mm -hmm. almost... It almost sounds like he knows what's I'm about to happen. to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Uh, yeah, sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance. I the love the unforeseen events slightly old-timey American terms used here. Like, believe you me. I just need to verify some information. That's all. All right, sure, let's do it. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. All right, so unlike every other uh, 
Fallout game, I had to pre-make a build for this one, and there is a reason for that. Um, there are certain perks in this game that are kind of needed, right? Uh, and it's important to get them, and you have a set amount of points. So what I had to do was I had to make a build prior to this, and I'll give you a quick rundown of this in case you're curious. I have strength three, which I'll up to four with the bobblehead, which is for getting the armor perk and then the blacksmith perk, which I, I don't think is necessarily really necessary, but I could need it. Perception three and then up to four for lock picking. Endurance was six, I believe, because I had spare points and I wanted to get it up to seven for getting uh, a certain resistance perk, if I remember correctly. Could be wrong. Charisma's at 9, because I like having Charisma, I'm going to up that to 10 with the your special book, likely in the beginning, I imagine. I don't see a reason to not do that. I think that's what I want. Intelligence is at 1, and then Luck is at 5 for the Idiot Savant perk, which I want to proc as much as possible. I don't think there's anything particularly needed beyond that. I don't think I need agility for anything. I never use VATS. Um, obviously, I don't want intelligence, and you'll see why that's not a problem later on. But otherwise, I think this is all pretty darn good, if I do say so myself, so I'll Wonderful. accept that. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Yeah, no problem. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. Ah, what a dweeb. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Noah, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. All right, let's go curb stomp a baby. You heard Codsworth. Go on. Ah, uh, I wanted to. I was hoping that I could like spike it like a football. In the mobile a bit. He loves that. Ugh. Bro, I can't wait until he's taken and you're dead. Sorry, is that too meta for you? Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Hey, it's the your special book. Listen, oh. after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. <laughs> Let's just watch TV instead. Miss the World Series? Not gonna happen. Codsworth, what's wrong? Uh oh, I hope nothing bad's happening. Followed by guests, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We need to get to the vault. All right, now. let's go to the vault. I'm just abandoning my wife. I don't care about my wife. I'm running. <laughs> Those communist bastards. Okay, so as... A local resident of sunny Massachusetts, in case you're curious, that is indeed where I'm from. Uh, I don't really particularly make it a secret, but uh, the we need we need to get in. We're on the list. Let me in. Infant, adult male, adult female. Thank my oh, there's my wife. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Let's go. Good luck. Uh, as I was saying, uh, the Boston abs accents here are a bit obnoxious in certain places. Um, I've watched series of this before, and I've heard people say that they've been to Boston, and this is what people sound like. And maybe sure, some people sound like that. We're gonna be okay. I love you, both of you. I don't really care about you that much. Oh, that's crazy. I hope nothing. Bad happens. Uh oh. Nope. And there we go. And everyone I've ever known and loved is now dead. 
That's unfortunate. Sucks to suck, I guess. L plus ratio. Not even close. We did it. We made it. I wish I could default dance on this game. I would do that right now. Mrs. Whitfield. Oh, everyone's so scared. And proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better, better future. future. Underground. underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. We left a minute later. Oh, no, no. That's don't true. Alright, that. right, let's go. Walking like a Chad. I got the Chad walk going on. Good. Step over to the table, take a seat. You'll need this your way. seat Thanks. before we can take right. it further. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. Just All right, way. you three. Follow me. All right, let's go. See? This is our new home. I'm oh, sure nothing... <laughs> I'm this sure it'll be fine. Most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. How do I slow walk? I don't remember how to slow walk in this game. Everything we had. Sir? My mother and father down in D.C. Oh, caps lock. Okay. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. I'm sure it'll be fine. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. Man, if there's one thing I hate this about every Bethesda game. So, in case you're curious, the player has a faster walk speed than NPCs. And what this does is it means that when I'm using the walk feature to slow walk, uh, I am slower than an NPC, and when I don't use it, I'm faster than an NPC. So it's nigh impossible to walk with an NPC. In case you're ever curious, that is why you cannot walk with an NPC, and why it's like really annoying to try. Oh. Uh-oh. Just faded to white. That's not good. I hope nothing bad happens to my wife and child. Mysterious figure. Ugh. I hate children so much. The sounds of children crying, like, actually spark irrational fear and anger inside of me. Well, that's just unfortunate. I'm so sad at the death of my wife. Heartbroken, even. <coughs> Gasping, coughing. Uh, punch. All right, and there we go. Okay, and, uh, ow. Oof. Okay, and here we are. Started out of time, and I'm here. And I'll also start another bunch of quests once I exit the vault. But here I am. I'm free. This is awesome. So, now we're here. Now we get to the point where I can go and do anything in this game that I want to. Theoretically, I can, you know, I could just run off and do nothing if I want to. Now, that's not to say that I will do that, because why would I do that? That would be that'd be weird. I'm probably going to do the main quest for a while and then do a bunch of side quests as time goes on. 
Uh, let's just go. Yeah, so I gotta say, I love Fallout 4, and I love the Fallout series as a whole. Um, I was never the biggest fan. Okay. <laughs> I, I accidentally sat down. That's my bad. Um, I was never the biggest fan before, and the reason for that is because when I was a child, I was too young to kind of understand how Fallout worked and understand how games work. It probably also doesn't help that when I first ever played this game, it was on the Xbox and controller aim is just not good. If you've ever played on a controller and tried to play a Bethesda game or tried to play any form of uh, game that involves shooting, it's just not good and it's just unfortunate. Uh, I'm looting all of this stuff because I am a total loot goblin and you guys will find this out through the whole series. I, in Fallout, I loot literally everything. Like, I, I am a loot goblin. Alright, let's go. So my main idea for a build this game is I'm, this game, or this series, I'm going to probably be doing what I consider to be my most basic playthrough, is in, this is what I would do regularly, like, for fun. So, who I'm siding with, uh, what choices I'm making, those are all stuff I would do regularly for fun, you know, rather than kind of going out of my way to do something special or interesting or unique, whatever. Nice. Coming back later for you. Cry a later. I actually don't know if this is fixed yet, but there used to be a bug in the beginning of the game or when the game was first released where you could... Uh, you could bring dog meat in here and then tell him to grab the cryolator and he would be able to grab it through the thing which is really funny what happened here where is everyone <laughs> it looks like they're quite dead sorry me all right let's see open evacuation tunnel tunnels now open i don't really need to read any of these logs in case you're curious i, I can just give you guys the lore while i'm running uh if you don't already know it the this vault was used as an experiment as most vaults are every vault was ran with an experiment in mind uh and that experiment was to cryogenically freeze the people and kind of i, I don't know i think that was just it. it they were it was designed with the purpose to cryogenically freeze the people where are you i knew you were coming you cannot fool me Okay, I, I don't think there's a reason to get these vault jumpsuits, but I'll take them for fun, I guess. Uh, yeah, so basically the whole gist of this vault was just cryogenically freeze the people and then be on your merry way. Oh, there's nothing in the toolbox. SMH, MH. All right. Well, I think that was everything of value that I needed. I There might be more ammo and stuff that I missed along the way, like maybe only slightly, but that's okay. I don't need it. Put on this Pip Boy. Whenever I hear the word Pip Boy, I always have Liam Neeson in my head saying it from Fallout 3. And there we go. Okay, so as you can see, and as you'll see throughout the series, uh, I do have, I believe, Def UI and then Fall, Fall UI installed. That just makes the Pip Boy look way better, in my opinion. It's so nice and like high quality, and I quite love it. All right, so first things first. Let's well, let's unequip that wedding ring. Ew, gross. Um, I don't need to equip anything else. Uh, that should have yeah. Okay, so my charisma's good now. That means I can use the book. So. Let's quickly take a look at the perk trait. So you can see here I wanted blacksmith just in case I decide I want melee mods. There's no real particular reason to do it. Like I, I don't want any of these other perks and I don't even really particularly want this one. I probably could have taken one out of armor and then added it to somewhere else. That's fine. Locksmith was important. Endurance you can see here. I can get up to rad resistant. Rad resistant was the perk I wanted in endurance, which is good. This is good for the beginning. I have charisma. I'm going to use the year special book to get my charisma up to 10 because I love having 10 charisma in this game. 
intelligence at one. This will later go to two with the intelligence bobblehead, which is good for medic luck. You can see I get the idiot savant perk and then agility. I don't need anything in agility, to be completely honest, because I believe agility one is non-automatic weapons or non-automatic pistols, which is good. That's all I need. All right. This is so cool. I'm sure most people thought this when they saw this, but this is so cool. I love the vault opening and everything. And then it plays that, the classic Fallout theme in the background. I believe this the theme originated from Fallout 3, correct me if I'm wrong. But... Beautiful. Ah. Natural light. It burns. Burns the eyes. All right. So actually, you know what I'm going to do real quick? Because right here, after this opens. Man, open any faster, will you? You'd think Vault Tech would have designed this vault with convenience in mind, but this is just inconvenient. All right. Real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change my special stats. Because, as I said, I don't think I need Blacksmith because I'm not going to be using melee weapons throughout this playthrough. So I can remove that into Strength. And I can probably put it into... Where, where would I even put it? I'm not going to put it into Charisma right away because there's no reason. I, I want to use your special book on that. I could put it into Endurance, I guess. Maybe Perception. I don't need Perception 5, though. Let's just go for let's just go for the endurance. I don't think there's any reason to not. But there we go. Enjoy your return to the surface and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Those who reserved spots in Vault 11 had no idea they would be cryogenically frozen. Crazy. Ugh. Natural light, it burns. Holy The light should fade a little bit soon, so we can actually see. Look at that. Man, the world has been devastated. Beautiful Massachusetts is gone. But that is it for this first episode. Obviously, I, uh, I, I plan on keeping these about 30 minutes as well as my Skyrim series. And I'll just, you know, keep going as time goes on. I'll, I'll probably... Uh, You'll get the gist, but that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully you're excited as I am for the rest of this series. Tomorrow will either be another Fallout. I might do two in a row, or I'll go back to Skyrim. We'll see. Uh, but otherwise, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Adios.